In this video I'm going to show you how to add and manage users in WordPress. Now when you first set up your WordPress blog it will automatically set up the administrator setting so that you can access the back office part, the dashboard and you can make any changes that you want to make to your WordPress blog and so on. But you might want to allow extra people to access your WordPress blog and you might want to restrict what they can and cannot do and you can do this very very simply from the dashboard come down here to users and click and then you can see it will list all the users if you want to add a new user click here on add new and you add the username so let's call this person Fred and an email address and we can add their first name let's call them Fred as well and their last name is Smith And they don't have a website so we'll leave that one blank put in the password and repeat it and there we go and you can decide whether you want to send the user their password by email seeing as this is a fake name I'm not going to check that and then you want to select the role that this new person is going to have and you select that from the drop down menu here and this is actually very important because there are different roles allow people to have access to different parts of the site for example an administrator is someone who has access to all of the features on the site if someone is an editor that means that they can publish and manage posts and pages as well as manage other users posts and so on an author is someone who can publish and manage their own posts but can't do anything else and a contributor is someone who can write and manage their own posts but they can't publish them and a subscriber is someone who can only manage their own profile they can't do anything else they can read your blog but nothing else okay I'm going to assign this person the role of author so we can click there and then click on add a new user and there we go you can see there's the admin and there's Fred our new user okay if I just log out okay I'll now log in with the new username and password and then click on login and you can see that the dashboard is somewhat restricted this person can add new posts and can view posts they can input media uh, they can look at comments and they can update their profile and they can look at tools but they can't do anything else they can't change the theme or anything like that and they can't add any new users okay let's log out and I'll now log back in as the administrator and log in again and let's add another user just scroll down a bit here users and let's add another new user and 
let's call this new user Jane and her email and we'll just put in the password And let's give this person just the role of subscriber. So click there, add new user. And there we can see Jane added in. Okay, I'll just log out. And there we are. And I can log in again as Jane and there you go you can see that Jane's options are very limited indeed all she can do is update her profile and her contact information okay if I just log out again and log in as administrator one other thing that I'll show you is if you want to delete a user come over here to users it lists all of them here and if you want to delete them just simply click on the delete link and then it gives you some options you can delete all posts and links or you can change the attribution of the posts and links and you can choose it from the drop down menu there I'm going to delete all posts and links so confirm deletion and there you are Fred has been removed from the list so there you go this is how you can add and manage users in WordPress